Hey, what's up, miners? So, in today's video, I'm going to be using a program called Turbo Plotter 9000. Um, I'm going to be plotting a 6 terabyte Western digital hard drive. And uh, But before we get started, I just uh, want to make it clear that this isn't a first time plotter type video or a beginner's guide to plotting. Um, there are other videos out there. Um, I'm going to leave a couple links in the description below so you can get started. But um, this video is intended for those of you who have been plotting, who have been mining burst coin, and uh, know how tedious it is to plot hard drives and very time consuming. And um, so uh, that's what this video is intended for. So um, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to head on over to our web browser. And we're going to do a Google search for Turbo Plotter. And usually it's the first one that comes up. That is the most accurate one. Right there, Burst Coin, Turbo Plotter. Um, it is a very simple one page website. It gives you a brief description of the application. And if you scroll down, um, it's going to tell us it has CPU and GPU support. It's easy to use GUI, and it's perfect for externals. Now, there are two versions. One is a beta, and the other one is a beta pre-release. There is also a paid pro version, um, and that will allow you to run two GPUs at the same time, so it could um, plot a hard drive even faster. And that can be purchased through the Burst Coin Marketplace that's in your Burst Coin all-in-one wallet, not through the web page here. So for this particular demonstration, we're going to be using the beta version. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click that. And then it's going to be a quick and fast download. And then I'm going to open up the folder location. And it's a zip file, so we're going to go ahead and extract that to a location of your choice. Once that it's extracted, see I've already done that, so I'm just going to overwrite it. So once that's extracted, it is a small executable application. Um, it's a standalone executable, so it doesn't rely on the Windows registry. But go ahead and double click that. So Windows Defender obviously is going to see that, so um, you're going to run it anyways. and then you just click OK for a user account control okay so now we are brought up with the turbo plotter main screen which is a very simple um, setup here um, it's gonna see your CPU uh, which is mine it's an Intel Core i5-6600 uh, it's gonna only show two GPUs even though your rig has six or five um, but it's it's going to pick up uh, the first two it sees, I'm assuming. Um, so in my case, it's a 1050 Ti and a 1060. I'm obviously not going to plot with the 1050. It's just a little bit too slow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the 1060. It's going to move this up a bit. Um, so you unselect the CPU and um, you select the the GPU of your choice. And um, where it says SSD path, and what that is for is if you have an SSD drive, um, you can actually use that as a staging drive um, for plotting SMR type hard disk drives like the Seagate. And um, the write speeds um, increase dramatically to 200 megs per second as opposed to 5 megs per second so the writes are sequential and um, um, but the, at the same time that it uh, you'll need a large SSD drive to actually make it worth your while and uh, 
in order to actually be beneficial into into uh, plotting those SMR type drives. Um, I don't think it's uh, it's a feature that I'm actually going to use um, because I try to stay away from SMR drives. But I actually, I do have one I need to plot. Um, but that uh, that's for another day. So moving on, we are going to be picking our target disk path. Um, and I just need to find my six terabyte Western digital drive. And once you find it, make sure you click on the burst folder on whichever drive you have. Um, that is a very important um, step. You need to make sure you have a burst folder within your empty drive that you can be plotting because that's the, um, that's what your mining software is going to be looking for. It's going to be looking for that burst folder in the drive. So the next um, step is uh, entering your numeric ID under account. Um, I already have that entered. Uh, make sure it's your numer numeric ID, not your burst wallet uh, account number. Um, and then once you have that entered, next up we're going to be choosing our starting nonce file. Um, so I'm going to choose from a file that I already have on my last hard drive as my starting for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it shows it at a number that I don't really want it to start at. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. So, um, so I'm going to enter the starting nonce file manually myself. And I'm just going to change the last couple digits there to 90. And then after that, you're going to be choosing your max file size. So this is the size of the nonce files itself. I'm just going to leave it at 1.1 terabyte. And how much RAM you want this application to use. Um, I would suggest you don't go too you only use about 40% of your available RAM. Don't go too high. Um, and then once uh, that's all entered, um, we're just going to uh, verify everything before we hit start plotting. And um, everything looks good. Yep, just gonna double check. And uh, I think we're good to go. So the plotting has begun on the hard drive. And as you can see, there are two graphs. One is the compute and one is the write. And if you look at the compute section here, it shows our GPU speed or it's uh, computational speed. And it's measured in nonsense per minute. And uh, by looking at it, it looks about 60 to 70,000 nonsense per minute. Um, it tells you the amount of gigs completed. And if we look at the right section on the bottom here, it's, um, it's telling you the right speed on the right. And we're looking at about 60 to 7 megs per second. Um, which isn't that fast, um, but sometimes it's not about the speed, it's about the efficiency. So um, sometimes uh, some drives read quicker than they write, and uh, vice versa. But anyways, um, all in the bottom of this window, it tells you the estimated uh, completion time. So um, I'm obviously not going to keep recording um, this video while it's plotting it's just a waste of time so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to com come back to this video once uh, the plotting is done and continue where we left off alright see you in a bit okay so we're back and the hard drive is 
finish plotting. Um, let's just take a look here. Everything looks okay. Let's click okay here. Yep, so we're done. So the next step to do here is um, open up our Burst Coin all-in-one wallet. And from there, we're going to um, execute the miner that's in the wallet, import our plot file, and start up the miner, and make sure everything is copacetic. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Um, here we go. The miner. Um, so uh, we're going to take a look here, and those are our previous hard drives that were plotted. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import that uh, plot file that we just created. Um, it didn't look like it picked it up. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and find it. And I'm looking for the Western Digital 6 terabyte. And there it is. So I'm going to click OK and give it a second. And there it is. Those were all the nonsense files um, on that drive that were plotted. So from there, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to just continue and fill in um, our uh, recipient address that we mine from. Um, I, have it, um, I have it written down in a uh, text document. Just, uh, just to have so I can have a hard copy of it. So I just copy and paste it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Fill in the blanks. Copy and paste. And the port address is correct. 8124. And it's going to enter our deadline. And I usually have those all three there checked off. And just let me double check. And then uh, we'll execute the start miner. And you just click OK for user um, access control. And um, it looks like uh, we're good to go here. Um, there's three drives it's mining from. And you can see the bottom one there we just mined. Or uh, sorry, we just plotted. And it's got the six files. Uh, the other two drives have one large nonce file on it. Um, but I'm just going to let this miner uh, minor run here. So in conclusion, I highly recommend everyone to use this uh, plotting application um, to plot their, uh, their hard drives for um, proof of capacity mining, whether it be burst coin, store, SIA. Um, I know I'm going to be using it from now on. Uh, now there are other programs out there like the, uh, the one that comes with the all-in-one wallet, uh, the Blago X Plotter. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that because it, it, uh, it's going to plot and optimize your drive, but um, it relies on the CPU. So if you don't have a fast CPU like a I don't know, like an i7 6700 or a 7700 or a Ryzen 1700 and up, then you're looking at a, um, a lengthy time before your hard drive is actually uh, going to be put to use. Um, th now, there's another program out there called the JMiner, and um, that uses a GPU, just like this one does, to plot your hard drives. Um, I don't have any experience with that, but I know that there is, it, it's a very tedious program to use and there's a lot of uh, configuration um, to get that set up properly and after it's done, you still have to optimize the hard drive. So um, I've, uh, I've steered a, away from that type of program and a, I found uh, this one and um, hopefully this uh, this video and uh, this application uh, helps you uh, in the future 
And if you can like and subscribe to uh, more videos, uh, I'd much appreciate it. And um, as always, pay it forward. Thanks.